Hello everyone. Welcome to IEEE Expert. Today we are going to see project about UPI fraud detection. So our project title was UPI fraud detection. I am going to open the PPT for this project. So this is our project today. So we are going to see project about UPI fraud detection. That means uh, GPA phone pay fraud detection using AI model machine learning technique. This is the project we are going to consider today. This project base paper directly derived from this. So this is the project base paper application of artificial intelligence for the fraudulent banking operation and recognition. So this project, uh, this paper published recently on 2023. So this is the base paper we are going to consider today. So additionally, we have taken one more paper also, online fraud detection using machine learning. These are the two papers we are going to consider this project. So in this project, we are going to predict the UPA fraud detection. If you are going with any GPA phone pay transaction means, we are going to predict whether the transaction was fraud or not. By using this, we are going to decline the payment, uh, decline the transaction. This is what we are going to do with this project. So basically, we have to go through the uh, need for this project. Nowadays, everyone going for the online banking only. Online banking means uh, UPA, phone pay, uh, Paytm, Google Pay, this kind of uh, online payment modes only everyone using nowadays. But what happened means, lot of forgery sellers, malicious sellers using this technique to make the payment, to receive the payment. We don't know whether the seller is correct or not. Directly we are going to scan or directly entering the mobile number we are going to pay. We don't know about the seller whether he was fraud or not. So this project will be benefitable for that. It will predict whether the seller is fraud or not. Whether the transaction is fraud or not. Whether the transaction made by your consciousness or not. Okay. The transaction made by you or it's made by a fraudulent seller. It automatically predicts the things. That is the major advantage of this project. In abstract we have mentioned that's lot of UPI usage nowadays arises okay everyone using a, a UPI payment method only but there is lot of fraud associated with this type of funding so we have to overcome this those kind of things for that only we are going to create a machine learning kind of things this is the project abstract in proposed system we are going to use five different algorithms based on the five different algorithm we are going to suggest only one algorithm as a better algorithm Okay, we are going to compare different five algorithms for this project. So this is the literacy survey of this project. We have taken different titles, existing titles. We have mentioned what are the drawback of this project, uh, drawback of the existing system, everything mentioned here. So overall existing system was, in existing they have used to gradient boost classifier, vector machine classifier, random forest classifier, decision tree classifier. Those are the existing algorithm used to detect the UPA fraud direction. The major drawback of the existing system was it produces very much low accuracy when compared to our proposed system as well as uh, there is no AI involvement in existing system. So it will consider less number of features when compared to our proposed system it considered less number of features <coughs> as well as whether major drawback was customer privacy. The customer privacy was question mark in the existing system to overcome those kind of things only. We are going for the proposed system. In our proposed system, we are going to use CNN algorithm, convolutional neural network algorithm for the detection of malicious kind of things. So the project means uh, models everything given in the PPT itself. Once you purchase to means you can get all the details. So harder for this uh, harder for this project was we need minimum i3 processor, 4 GPU of RAM. So we are going to use any Python compiler. Language was Python and HTML used, backend was SQL. So this is the project architecture. The major advantage of project was it will benefitable for the user. There is uh, any unauthorized payment, unauthorized funding or unauthorized transaction arrest means automatically it will direct as well as your fund will be safe, will be in safe hand. This is the main advantage. Accuracy also highest when compared to the existing system. So this is the overall PPT. Once you pay it means you can get the complete material of these projects. So without wasting much time, I'm going to run the project. This is my project folder, UPA fraud detection folder. So this is my this is my model building code. So algorithm building code. I'm going to open this with code with the Jupyter notebook. So I'm going to open that code. 
so this is the code used to build the model so i'm going to run run the code so the data set for this project was given here this is the project data set we have taken lot of transaction already marked fraud transaction so these are the things for example transaction hour transaction day transaction month transaction year what are the category transaction category for example what are the cat category means you have to open this the given reference for that transaction category means there is various category in the upi payment so you have to give the category also for example first zero category means entertainment one category means food and dining six category means home and dining fifth category means health and fitness 11th category means shopping like that you have to give the specific category so these are the data set we are going to use then upi number then transaction amount which state transaction belongs to which state exact zip code of the transaction how much transaction amount whether the transaction fraud or not these are the example we are going to consider so this data set directly fit here so these are the data set we are going to consider so we are going to as i mentioned earlier i am going to consider different algorithms so first algorithm we are going to use was logistic regression accuracy was around 80 percentage we are going to use knn algorithm so accuracy of the knn algorithm was 83 as well as svc algorithm supporting vector machine we are going to use supporting vector machine accuracy was 81 the navy bayesian navy bayesian we got accuracy around 81 again then distant tree in distant tree accuracy we got around 94.7 for distant tree then we are going for the random forest we got accuracy of around 95.5 then finally we going go for the cnn conversion neural network model we got a accuracy around 100 percentage so nearly we got accuracy around 99.6 then we got accuracy of 100 percent so this is very much satisfiable for this model so the plot also made here so these are the accuracy of different algorithms we are going to propose conversion neural network as our proposed system you know why because we got 100 percent accuracy here so chart also made for different algorithms chart also made here so we have saved the project model then i'm going to run the project website for this so for that i'm going to copy the project location in my project environment i'm going to open terminal this time giving cd space project location then enter python space app dot py i'm going to run with python space app dot py so i i just go into view python space app dot py just i'm going to copy the project location then i have to paste in the browser so this is my project website i am going to run the project here so this is my project home page i am going to log in with the username username password was admin admin then i am going to log in i have to upload the data set for the training purpose this time going to use choose file then i am going for the data set location it present on the upi fraud detection code i'm going to upload my data set upi fraud data set i'm just going to upload this here so these are the data set i'm going to use as i mentioned earlier this is my data set i'm going to upload this one just you click train and test so once training finished means it can directly go for the testing page this is the project testing page you can give any things here for example i can check upi 9566492471 any random number upi holder name was kumar i'm giving upi holder name kumar this date of birth was i'm going to give date of birth for the kumar any data but i'm going to give padi kumar okay uh, select kumar belong to madhya pradesh example kumar belongs to madhya pradesh pin code was i'm going to give random pin code here so date of transaction for example kumar made a transaction on july 12th 2023 exact time was 6 o'clock like that i have to give then i have to give transaction amount for transaction amount for 
hundred dollars. Then I'm going to give seller name was Dream Eleven. Oh, sorry, I'm going to give seller name as a Flipkart. So merchant category. I'm going to give as a merchant category as a, uh, for example, online shopping. So James, I'm going to give deduct. So this transaction was valid transaction. There is no fraud in it. Giving result as a fraud transaction. I'm going to give one more different transaction now. For example, I'm going to give mobile number as a eight double six seven two five one two one one zero. Sorry, eight double six seven two one five eight double six. I'm giving number. Then I'm giving seller name as a uh, name was. Ramesh, I'm giving. Then date of birth, I'm going to give. Date of birth, I'm going to give February twenty. So the person belongs to Jharkhand. I'm giving. Person belongs to Jharkhand. Six um, zero. Sorry. I'm giving pin code. In terms, the date of transaction made was I'm giving July one. I'm giving as a transaction date. I have transferred around six hundred something. So the seller name was Amazon. I'm giving. Then category belongs to shopping and POS. I'm giving. Then I'm just using click direct. So see that it was a fraud transaction. Again, I'm going to check the dates here. See that. I have given the seller name. Seller number was this one. So name was Ramesh. Sender name was Ramesh. Date of birth I given. They have given jar kind of things. Transaction date. Everything mentioned here. If I'm clicking means it will give fraud. It will give, give as a result as a fraud. Okay. Now I'm going to check with the another things here. For example, I will give the number nine five double six seven four one five one two. Nine five double six seven four one five one two. I'm giving number. The name was Chitra. I'm giving name as a Chitra. So date of birth was date of birth for Chitra was I'm giving date of birth as a. 2008 person January something okay so the location for the person was I'm giving the Kerala so the pin code was 21214 I'm giving so transaction date I'm giving was you can give any transaction date not an issue so I'm giving June 8 then transaction amount was 200 I'm giving the seller name was The seller name mentioned on the GP was Chitra only. I'm giving Chitra. Uh, shopping category was health and fitness. I'm giving. So click to deduct means it's also fraud transaction. So it will deduct the transaction perfectly, whether that one is fraud or not. Perfectly it will deduct. Okay. You can give data from the data set also. Not an issue. Directly can give the data set uh, data from that uh, data set also. For example, I'm giving this data set. Uh, January one time was zero. I'm giving this one also, not an issue. So I'm giving date transaction date was January one mentioned. So I'm giving January one. So January one time was something I given. So the card number was oh, sorry. UPA mobile number was this one. I'm just copying this for your reference. So name I'm giving name as a Madan. I'm giving name as a Madan. So the date of birth of the person was age 54. So I'm going to give nearly 54 date of birth. So what I'm going to do means I'm going to go by far. So I'm going to use 54. So that means I'm going to give. Nearly something. Nineteen seventy here. So data, but I given. So state I'm going to use. 
state I'm going to use uh, 22 they have mentioned so 22 means we have to see the reference page so 22 means it's giving us a Tamil Nadu so you have to give 22 that means Tamil Nadu you have to give as a state so you have to give the pin code also so I'm just giving the reference pin code here So how much transaction amount they have charged transfer means 66 you can change anything not an issue so i'm giving 66 the name was uh, the seller name mentioned was ieee expert else i can give projects projects the category was you have to give the specific category the category was 12 mentioned here so you have to check category 12 means what is shopping and pos you have to give shopping and pos So just give detect. So it's valid transaction. Per perfectly to detect everything. Okay, perfectly to detect. Then once it's verified, it means go for the analysis things. So in analysis things, you can check everything. So the overall transaction categories was majorly they are making forgery as a free money, stocking, investment, job opening. These are the categories used by the fraudster to steal your money. Overall in your data set. 60 uh, 75 uh, 68 percentage of data set belongs to completely real categories so 31 percentage belongs to fraud transactions so overall accuracy of the your proposed algorithm was 99.5 percent your algorithm proposed algorithm percentage was 99.5 percentage so this much accuracy are getting okay if you need this pro if you need to purchase this project means please contact itbexpert.com we are providing this project at the best price Thank you. Thank you.